Welcome to Techno Analyst. Today we will install Hyper V service in Server 2022. So first of all, we will open Server Manager. In the Server Manager, we have to add roles and features, and you have to clear Next. You have to again click Next. Roll based installation. Select Operating System. Select Next. Here you have to select Hyper V service. Click on Add Features. Along with that, it will add some features related to Hyper V. You can okay. See, uh, we have getting one error which is validation result, and Hyper V cannot be installed. The processor does not have required virtualization capabilities. Okay, so when this error uh, will come, what you have to do, I will tell you. Click okay. Click cancel. Click close. Now we have to shut down this operating system. Okay, we shut down it. Click start. Shut down. Click continue. Shut down anyway. So once it shut down, we will. Go to the processor uh, through Edit Virtual Machine, and here you can select Virtualization Engine, Virtualization Intel VT X EPT, and we we will increase a RAM for fast installation. So I will save as a 4 GB memory. One one second, I will show you. That number of processor, what we use, the number of core processor, what we use over here, and uh, what we enable virtualization Intel VT EXP EPT or AMD slash we uh, we enabled it. Now restart the virtual system, or you can start the virtual system, which is my server 2022. One more thing, I just wanted to tell you, Hyper V is the same like uh, same as like uh, VMware. Again, we will install it. Select operating base, operating system. Select operating system. Here we select Hyper V service. Click Add on feature, and we will see over here uh, we are getting an error or not. See, it is installed. We are not getting any error right now. So we will click on next. Again, next, next. Uh, Ethernet setting. We will uh, set up this setting in a another video. I will show you how to uh, configure a uh, networking setting for VMware. And uh, we will also see uh, how we will use physical machine to this server machine. And through server machine, we will access a guest operating system. So I will make a special video for that. So right now we don't need to do anything. Just click on next. Next. This is the path for a virtual hard disk and your Hyper V configuration file. So you can select any path wherever you want through browse. Click next. And a restart is actually required, but we will install it. Like uh, you can say, uh, VMware is also a little bit similar like this. Oracle Virtual Box it is also similar like this, and Hyper V also a same is like this. There are some small small difference in between them, but these uh, three are offering the same service. Now click on close. our installation is complete the hyper v installation is completed in this video so next video we will install a operating system uh, which is windows 11 in this hyper v so just close it and through the notification on the dashboard to notification you can check 
it is successfully installed or not so it's prompt to the restart the server so you have to restart so you know so this feature uh, will work smoothly without any error so that's it in this video please subscribe to my channel thank you